Boom. Hi there. Welcome to Real Girl Talk. My name is Angie. I am a Christian woman. I am a stay-at-home mom. I'm a reseller on eBay and Poshmark. And that's actually kind of slowed down lately with what's been going on in the world. I hope that you're safe. I hope that you're healthy. Um, so today's video is kind of a fun, informative video. And it's how to fix up for your husband when you're on quarantine. So you're going to have to work with what you have. And you can't obviously go out to the store and get a new dress, get any new makeup, get anything done. Um, my nails are definitely suffering. Hi. Here's Abby. Abby's going to help me and help Hi. you get ready. Hi. Hi. So the first step is going to be you're going to need to get in the shower. So today I'm going to be using this beautiful Equate um, Silk Mommy's Blossom. Mommy's brush her hair. Yeah, body wash. Uh, girls, you're gonna have to get out these. Eee! I know it's a lot of work, but you know. Body wash. I'm gonna be using Color Shield by Gardier. I don't even know how to say that for shampoo. And my conditioner is this Tea Tree Lavender Mint. My name is Abby. Abby. So, okay, step one, ladies, get in the shower. Okay, out of the shower. Ooh, sorry, it's a little shaky. Okay, out of the shower now. And now the second step is to pick out your wow factor oh, outfit. Abby's ready for Daddy to be home. Yeah. It's going to be a while yet, Ab. <laughs> okay, so wow factor dress. I am going to choose, pretty much looks like my clothing is on reserve. I think I'm going to pick out the dress that I wore on our engagement day. Yay! Next we're going to do skincare and makeup. So to start, I have this Crepe Erase Cream. This is actually the um, overnight cream, but it's all I have right now. So this is what I'm going to use before I put my makeup on. And this is the Jane Seymour skincare line. And um, this actually doesn't break me out. A lot of a lot of um, creams break me out. Um, but this honestly does not break me out. So I love it. It's a great cream for me. Um, and I'm going to use, oh, actually, I kind of put a little bit too much on because this is a time to um, kind of, what's the word? Um, hmm, what is the word? Don't overuse your products, I guess. So yeah, um, Abby says hi. She's still working on her Play-Doh. I've got my cream on, and as any aging woman knows, you need to treat your neck. This is your decollete. Treat that as well, and the tops of your hands, because those show signs of aging too. Don't just worry about your face. Okay, next, this is my makeup tote. <laughs> so I'm gonna, Abby loves makeup totes. I'm gonna go through with you what I have. I'm gonna get a gray makeup tote. I'm gonna use this concealer to start. It's a CoverGirl all day concealer. Gonna put it under the eyes. You wanna do a, um, Kind of a triangle, upside down triangle under your eyes that gives the illusion of lifting, covering these dark eye circles. I sleep with um, my two-year-old angel, and so I do get kicked a lot at night. <laughs> I don't always get like a real restful night. So yeah, got to cover up those, and got my little beauty blender here. We're gonna go ahead and. Um, use that to kind of pat everything in place. Um, let me tell you a story so you don't, to kind of keep you entertained as I'm doing my makeup. So I will tell you the dress that I picked out. If I always love hearing engagement stories, so I'll tell you my engagement story. Okay, so I met my husband when I was 31. I prayed for a husband for 10 years. 
Um, I had rededicated my life to God. I was praying for a godly man. And so I did wait 10 years, but after the 10 years, I can see why I waited. God did a lot in me. He brought me a wonderful husband. I met him through my brother-in-law and we did not date very long. We met in, I'm trying to think, did we meet? We met in February. Um, our second date was actually on Valentine's Day. Um, we got engaged. Um, I think it was like four months later we got engaged. So here's the story behind the dress. My husband and I, because things are moving pretty quickly, he was the first guy that I dated that was up front with me that where he said that he felt the relationship was going. And he told me before he had even um, kissed me that he wanted to marry me, that, that the relationship was going towards marriage. So anyways, we did a pre-marriage class in, um, at a church and one of the assignments for the class, I got some bronzer. This is just like some cheap elf bronzer. Hi. bronzer. Hi. <laughs> Abby says, hi, hi Ab, how's your Play-Doh going? Good. Good. So um, he had, ooh, uh-oh. <laughs> That's getting a little bit too uh, intense. Um, he had, we had, we're going through this pre-marriage class at this church to kind of see, you know, more about each other. And one of the assignments, Abby's ready for daddy to come home. One of the assignments was to plan a special date. And so, Honestly, this date night that my husband and I went on, I thought it was just an assignment for the class that we were taking, that he was just living up to the assignment. And so next I'm gonna do my eyebrows. This is, um, this ran out. This was a little Rimmel London, little brow um, thing, but I still use the side with the brush and I just brush my brows up. Um, and then I'm gonna use this Maybelline brow pencil. Um, okay, little quick trick for your eyebrows. You can use a pencil to know that this is where they start. Use the side of your nose. That's where your brow should start. Go down to the middle center of your pupil. That's where the peak should happen. And then the end should happen like this. So you can do that to kind of if you don't know how the brows should be shaped. Okay, so I was at work. That night was gonna be the date. And I worked at a makeup store, which was very convenient. And during my break, um, I went to the spray tan salon, um, just cause I wanted to <laughs> be bronzy for the date um, because I'm pretty fair skinned. So anyways, I love I, my hair. Abby, I love your hair. I love your hair. Oh, thanks, Ab. So I went to the spray tan place during my break at work and I got my spray tan. I did my makeup at work. I brought my dress to change into that I showed you. And so my husband now, which was my boyfriend, Jimmy is his name, he picked me up from work and he took me to a super fancy restaurant. Um, he had known, I think he knew the owner and I can't honestly tell you the, oh yeah, Abby loves to get French fries when she goes to the restaurant. Next I'm gonna do my eyeshadow with daddy. She loves to get fries and chicken nuggets. I've got this, it's like this orange color and juice. I think it works well for my eye color. Um, so he brought me to this fancy restaurant and um, we had some, I can't, I don't honestly remember the name of the restaurant, but we had some, 
delicious food I and I kind of like I had a feeling maybe something was going to happen on the date. Abby has chicken nuggets, but I still, um, okay, I'm trying to find a good color for the contour, the dark contour color. So, um, I had thought that it was still the date, but I kind of had a feeling something might happen. Here's like a dark blue. I'm just going to use as the contour. And so I had a couple glasses of wine, um, and Jimmy told me to, um, I was being kind of goofy. I like to be a goofball. Uh, I like to be a goofball. <laughs> Jimmy was kind of, um, a little, a Abby likes to be a goofball too. Jimmy was kind of a little uptight, I could tell, and he told me to just like, um, like focus and not be a silly. <laughs> And so I tried to do that, and then um, dinner was coming to a close, and he said, he said our ride is here. He said, look out the window. Okay, here is the, this is, honestly, I don't even know the brand. It's been shaved down too low. This is my eyeliner. Um, so he said, look out the window. What happened to the light out? Oh yeah, mommy will open it in a minute. So I looked out the window and um, there was a horse and carriage <laughs> that pulled up right in front of the restaurant and he said, that's our ride. Cause he knew I liked horses and I hadn't rode on a horse since I was a kid. And so we went out there, we obviously got on the carriage and did the carriage ride and then um, and then he got down, no, he didn't get down on a knee. Um, he gummy, turned to it's, me. It's a gummy worm. It's a gummy worm. He turned to me and he opened up the ring box and I honestly, I could hear nothing he said. I have no idea what he said. I so wish that I knew he doesn't remember. Um, I felt a little bit in a daze and he popped the question and I said yes. And um, my parents were out of town. I didn't get a green makeup. He had already had the conversation I with my dad. Green makeup. Abby loves makeup too. Earlier green, to kind of tell my I dad his intentions. Okay, so I have these. These are the lashes that I have on reserve. They're not even a full strip. So I have these. I think I have some. Um, have these <laughs> so I don't honestly know what you're working with either so this is a uh, I love to use this for my lash strips um, don't you love my nails all grown out um, this is a super bond professional hair bond glue I use this for um, my lashes it stays better than anything else okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna probably trim these to get them placed on a little bit easier so then um, after the engagement, we, I think it was only three or four months later we got married. So we hadn't even known each other a year from when, um, yeah, from when we got married. So it, it did, it did progress quickly, um, which I had waited 10 years and God confirmed to me um, that he was the man I should marry and God confirmed to him that I was the one he should marry so yeah um, okay so we've been married that's really bad I feel like we've been married five years my husband's actually better at remembering dates than me um, because he has a better memory So that's kind of how that goes. Um, and okay, we got part of it. Notice how the difference even just one makes, but yeah, we're not gonna leave it at that. 
and so the wedding was amazing. We got married in our church, the church that God had called me back to um, when I really rededicated my life to him, wanted to find out his purpose for me. We had our senior pastor marry us. Um, my dad gave a nice little speech to us personally, who is from Napoleon Dynamite. Um, <laughs> the advice, I think that um, somebody on Napoleon Dynamite gave Napoleon Dynamite about marriage. My dad had uh, memorized that and he, he um, told my husband and I, Jimmy, that before we got married, um, right before we stepped up on the altar. So he kind of calmed our nerves to make us laugh. And then um, the reception was amazing. Oops. We went to a, our reception was at a, Sneaky Pete's it's called. So it has, it's right by the lake where boats come in and dock. It has a restaurant and other things you can do there. So we rented out one of the rooms and we had our reception there, and we, um, oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get this out. My uncle is a musician. He's in a jazz band, and I've always admired him since I was a kid. Like, he can play the guitar. I don't even know the words to say. Um, he's so gifted. He doesn't live here, he lives in Nebraska. Um, so I asked him if he would come play at our wedding. And so what happened was we hired a band and we had my uncle step in with the band and they played some really awesome songs like Rolling Stones. And um, they also learned my husband's and my favorite song to play on our first dance. So they did that. I can honestly say my wedding was one of the best days of my life because I saw everything kind of come into fruition. Our family was there, our friends was there of what God did in the waiting time um, and when he finally did bring the husband. So a little encouragement to you if you're not married yet or you're praying, just wait for God's confirmation. Don't, don't force things. Oh, Abby's making like a Santa thing. I was going to use my, um, when you're on reserves, you have to improvise. Is that the right word? I was going to use ooh, the same. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this same orange that I used on my eyes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to use for some. I love your eyes, Abby, for some bronzer. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, next is going to be lips. This is a Maybelline color stay. And to be honest with y'all, this is real girl talk. I did get some Juvederm in my lips, which I would love to do it again, but this is not the time to be spending money like that. Um, plus, I don't, <laughs> I don't have the money. I always have to save for that. Um, but, plus, I don't think it's smart to be that close to anybody right now. I just personally don't think you should do it. Don't get your nails done. Don't get your eyelashes done. Don't go in for a skin service. Uh, keep your distance. Yeah, Abby has a bike outside. Okay, got the lip color on. All right, next we got to dry and straighten the hair. <gasps> Turn it over. It's best if you dry your hair upside down because it gets more volume. Okay, my hair is dry, my dress is on. I'm wearing my necklace, the one that I wore when we got married. And now I'm gonna straighten my hair. Um, I got married too, Mama. Yeah, Abby.
Abby said daddy got married to mama. We still need to show her our um, wedding album. And so just yeah. just a little bit Dad of... Dad wore his suit costume. <laughs> yeah, daddy wore his suit costume. So just a little um, bit of advice. A, you wear a, a fairy costume. Yeah, and I wore a fairy costume. And then, um, so don't put too much pressure on your man after you're all fixed up to have like a big reaction because he might be a little bit stressed out right now. So, ooh, I need to work on that, girl. Woo! Back out of the high and goodbye wave. Yikes. Um, don't put too much pressure on him to be wowed by you right now. Um, this might be the time to be a good listener, to support him, and just know that you are looking good yourself, okay? So go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you made it this far. And please stay safe, stay well, bye. stay, okay, bye. keep practicing social okay. distancing. Bye. Okay, love you, bye.